our behavior are a favorite topic. Even elected leaders are getting in on the act. You're getting kind of creative down there to uh, to make your point with uh, the R train nightmares. Any any new videos come out? We're thinking of others that we could do, and uh, certainly um, when the MTA tells us that um, the train is only 62 percent capacity, we will go and show what 62 percent of capacity looks like. Brooklyn Council Member Vincent Gentili is watching the R train. He'd like people to be able to get a seat. And what we're talking about are, are, are on-time issues. We're talking about overcrowding issues. We're talking about the, the uh, quality of the cars that they're using. We've got older cars on the R line, as opposed to uh, during the tunnel closure, we had the newer cars. Now we're back to the older cars again. And you know we're taxpayers like anybody else, and we really need to uh, be attended to, and we want them to focus on the R train. Elected leaders hope the MTA will focus on getting work done and improving the system. We've had some of these long-term shutdowns that we've dealt with on the G train, on the R train. The key thing is to work together well ahead of time to make sure that these shutdowns don't end up stranding folks, that the alternative options are serious, good, reasonable, and public long, long, long before.